Tyrannosaurus Rex. That name alone, just whispering it, is enough to conjure the image of a massive, terrifying, and awe-inspiring creature. Nearly 13 meters long, weighing over eight tons, with a monstrous jaw capable of generating a bite force of up to six tons, equal to a truck crushing everything in its path. But T-Rex was more than just a carnivorous dinosaur. It was a living legend of the Cretaceous period, a supreme symbol of power, dominance, and primal fear. 66 million years ago, across the swampy plains and dense forests of ancient North America, it reigned as an uncrowned king, no worthy rivals. No place was safe once it had caught the scent of blood. Then, a meteor struck, an era ended. T-Rex vanished, but was never forgotten. Today, in our modern world where biotechnology and genetics have reached seemingly impossible frontiers, the name Tyrannosaurus rex has returned once again. It now appears in laboratories, in genetic blueprints, and in the boldest questions of modern science. Could the T-Rex be brought back from strands of ancient DNA? Could its bloodline still flow silently in some small bird fluttering nearby? We are about to embark on a journey spanning millions of years, from a glorious past to a strange and potentially dangerous future, where the line between life, death, and legacy is beginning to blur. The idea of resurrecting Tyrannosaurus Rex, it sounds like something straight out of a Hollywood movie, but in reality, laboratories around the world are getting closer to that dream than ever before. In 2005, Dr. Mary Schweitzer shocked the scientific community when she discovered preserved soft tissue inside the fossilized femur of a T-Rex in Montana. What once seemed impossible suddenly opened a new door for paleontology. If soft tissue can survive, could DNA still remain? Since then, Scientists have been searching for genetic traces within fossils, analyzing ancient proteins and comparing the them to the genomes of modern-day animals. A CRISPR, descendant. a powerful gene editing technology, has introduced the possibility of inserting ancient DNA into the embryos of living organisms. In pioneering experiments, birds, especially chickens, have been selected as test subjects due to their close evolutionary relationship with theropod dinosaurs like T. rex. Some projects have even successfully created chicken embryos that develop teeth, long tails, and clawed limbs resembling those of their dinosaur ancestors. This is no longer science fiction. This is science becoming reality. But the ultimate question remains, if we can recreate a T-Rex using synthetic DNA, should we? You might think that the descendants of Tyrannosaurus rex, one of the most terrifying killing machines in history, must be some kind of giant, fearsome creature with claws and razor-sharp teeth. But no, its closest living relatives today are birds. Yes, those tiny creatures fluttering through the sky, chirping on tree branches, or even sitting on your lunch plate, are actually the living legacy of the theropod dinosaurs. After decades of analyzing skeletal structures, DNA, and genetic markers, paleontologists reached a groundbreaking conclusion. Modern birds are direct descendants of meat-eating dinosaurs, specifically from the theropodic group, the very same group that Tyrannosaurus rex belonged to. One of the clearest examples? The ostrich. This large, flightless bird has powerful legs, a long, flexible neck, an upright stance, and most intriguingly, a genome that closely resembles that of T. rex more than any other living creature. Even chickens, the most familiar of all animals, carry an astonishing evolutionary link a famous experiment at Harvard University shook the scientific world. Researchers activated a dormant gene in a chicken embryo, causing it to develop tiny teeth, 
a trait that had been lost for millions of years, but once defined their dinosaur ancestors. That moment, when a modern animal revealed traits from a prehistoric past, sparked a haunting question. Have dinosaurs truly gone extinct? Or have they simply changed shape to adapt to a new world? T-Rex, once thought to exist only in fossilized bones, is, in a way, still alive, breathing, and flying around us every day, cloaked in feathers and wings. Tyrannosaurus rex wasn't just a predator by chance. It evolved into the ultimate killing machine, a creature perfectly built to rule the food chain. First, let's look at its teeth. T-Rex had up to 60 cone-shaped teeth, each as long as 12 inches or 30 centimeters, designed not just to cut, but to crush like industrial shears. Its bite force reached six tons, the equivalent of a truck crashing down on its prey. No land animal in history has ever had a more powerful bite. Its arms may seem small, but they were shockingly strong, capable of lifting over 180 kilograms or 400 pounds each. Paleontologists believe these arms were not useless, possibly used to grip prey tightly or help push itself up from the ground. With forward-facing eyes, T-Rex had stereoscopic vision, like a modern eagle, allowing precise depth perception while hunting. And most impressive of all, its brain was particularly advanced in the region controlling smell. T-Rex could sniff out carrion or live prey from miles away, making it not just a hunter, but a master tracker and scavenger. A creature of raw power, sharp senses, and a killer's instinct, Tyrannosaurus rex was the very definition of natural dominance. Imagine the unimaginable, recreating a Tyrannosaurus rex from ancient DNA. Would it be a giant leap for science or a violation of nature that ends in disaster? Some scientists argue that bringing back T-Rex could offer profound insights into evolution, ancient physiology, and prehistoric diseases. It might even pave the way for breakthroughs in bionetical research. But the dark side of this dream is impossible to ignore. First, ancient DNA is never complete. What we can recover are just fragments patched together with genes from modern birds like chickens or ostriches. The result may not be T-Rex at all, but a genetic hybrid, a creature that never existed in history. Second, if a T-Rex were to live again, where would it live? In a cage? In a forest? Who would control it? Its size, its food demands, its wild instincts are utterly incompatible with the modern world. Third, this is an ethical question. Do we have the right to bring back an extinct being just to study or display it? It never chose to be born, and it wouldn't choose its end either. That's why, even with the tools in hand, many scientists choose not to pursue resurrection. Because sometimes, what sleeps in the past should be left to rest forever. 66 million years have passed since Tyrannosaurus rex vanished from the stage of life. But has its legacy truly ended? It doesn't just live on in massive fossils or silent museum halls. T-Rex continues in the genes of modern birds, in the boundless imagination of humankind, and in the bold frontiers of science pushing the limits of what's possible. Every morning roosters crow, every pair of wings soaring across the sky, perhaps still carries a faint echo of the wild soul of the Cretaceous. Tyrannosaurus rex is a symbol of a lost age, an age where nature created beasts so grand they seemed almost mythical. 
And maybe it is the things that no longer exist that ignite our deepest curiosity, remind us to wield power with humility, and inspire reverence for the long, winding history of life. Perhaps T-Rex belongs right where it is, in the earth, in our memory, and in the hearts of those who dare to dream.